welcome back to Ecosidum Gaming and our low honor Good playthrough morning, of Red Dead Redemption 2. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. We are picking up where we left off. Start of a new series. Again, we are going about opening up all of our uh, hey, resources and uh, functions. So we are going to go well, hunting you, with Jose at this hunting? episode. What are you hunting? So we can Elephant? unlock the stable. I wish. No, and I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God, but you need me to come with you. <laughs> of course, let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. <laughs> Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> Easy, boy. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be... And for now, we are going to... About this magnificent Eat him at wild carrot. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard <laughs> about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. <laughs> yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. Do you find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Good thing, Jose. Yeah, that's it, boy. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. All right, boy. There, boy. Yeah. Stables are just up ahead. Yes, they are. All right. Go sell that big brute. And buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. All right. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? He's all muddy. You looking to sell? I sure you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But 
Your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Okay. Again, we are going to stable this boy. And there is the little Morgan. Can't afford the standard bread at the moment. Dutch warm blood. I got one of these uh, in uh, Red Dead Online a couple days ago and really enjoy that horse so far. It's been a good horse. But uh, we don't pay for horses in this game, remember? So we'll pick up the thoroughbred. Give her the name we always give her. Crescent. Alright. Horse provisions. So. Buy some hay. This doesn't cost much. And with the peppermint and sugar cubes. Mm. Get some horse medicine. Uh, I think that'll be all for now. This. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, be careful. And uh, other than good animals. Try not you to get this one hurt. On <laughs> All right. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. We will always look after our horse. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Whoa! All right, boy. All right, let's get going. Boy. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. Boy? So, Usually, the well, thoroughbred's a girl. It's called I've never had the thoroughbred. I just hope I can remember how to get there. I'm going to have to change his name. <laughs> I, sure didn't figure on that. I have never this had time, this horse be a boy before. So how are things with you and John? It's uh, always been a girl. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. I'll apologize now if there's not as much commentary on the storyline this playthrough. We might offer some later on, but uh, okay. I think we need if you right followed my High Honor playthroughs, then you know uh, pretty much all I have to say about a lot of this stuff. But we're going to be focusing, you know, more on yes. the story differences with... Moonstone Arthur being low on her, I think. Right and there'll be quite a few things that I have not experienced exactly um, this playthrough because I have not done a low on her playthrough there. before. So this we is the first time. Ah. Yeah, I should have paid attention when we were in the stables. I would have given this boy a different name if I had realized it was a stallion. <laughs> what 
wonder if that's just something because I'm, you know, low honor already. Or dipping into low okay. honor. Rabbits. Yes. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Because like I said, I have you never had this horse. Too powerful on a small animal like uh, that. Just never had this horse With end up. Best things a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. Being offered. Rabbits before, you know. That's yes. a stallion. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Yeah, shush, Hosea. Let me go hunt the rabbits. That was easy enough. What's with the golden? It shouldn't be golden, it should be black. There we go. Something else we're gonna have to completely re-update our compendium. Good job. Which is gonna be a bit of a pain. Alright. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Okay. Just set up. <laughs> oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Okay. <laughs> Start stocking up on provisions. Uh, all right, it's gonna it? force me to no, eat it. I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. And we'll stow the other pieces. I have some herbs on me. I wonder if it'll let me... Because I think I can only carry three. Well, maybe five. I forget. We'll have to start donating to camp so that we can... Uh, get the leather working tools and upgrade these satchels. I might do a few exploration videos just to work on that. Alright. Anything else? Yep. Nope. Not at this time. <sighs> Alright. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. Okay. He better be worth all this drama. <coughs> Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Of course. Sure. There you go. Coffee, the elixir of life. So, <laughs> what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees but i prefer to hunt on the ground more dangerous but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in and if he bolts we can start right off after him can you mix up this bait for me while i finish packing this up fish berries i tie it up in that rag when you're done i hope you know what you're talking about <laughs> i grew up in the mountain I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Yep. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Skip. Come on, grab your stuff. Let and leave. Okay, let's go.
We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, sure? if Dutch's <laughs> grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, and sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. Here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on. See if there's anything else. <laughs> I enjoy tracking this bear. <laughs> Something else on the ground, just here. There shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon <laughs> he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. And of course he had some diarrhea. Work away. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. <laughs> we lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. <sighs> well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? I'm gonna use the bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Okay. Up here. And use. All I think I have is my pistol, which isn't the best for a bear hunt. Pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? <laughs> you seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Eh, go to bear.
And Arthur is all scratched to hell and back. <laughs> you fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. Almost getting eaten by a grizzly is you Arthur's know, idea of fun. I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you gonna stay? Of course. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. And we are going to get ourselves a bear. Uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. And of course, check out the mission debrief. Alright. Let's get ourselves... Well, let's get our outfit normalized. Get ourselves some real weapons. And now, let's track ourselves a bear. like something. It must be a way off. Okay. And like the previous time, I will use the repeater that uh, Dutch gives us in the prologue in Alter in order to prove that this can be done without... Must be close. Purchasing or acquiring any other weapons. There he is. Legendary bear. And here comes our horse. So what trapper location just popped up on the map? As apparently one did. to Roanoke Ridge. All right, let us take our bear. But first we are going to uh, heal up, grab ourselves some food, restore our dead eye core and our dead eye outer bar. What is this? I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. <laughs> we could rock them, but we're not going to. We have other things to do. Yeah. 
He shouldn't be mining on the Hamish's Lake. I'm prospecting on Hamish's Lake. It's not mining. All right. So I asked it in the first series, I will ask it again in this series. If you have name suggestions for any of the horses that we pick up along the way, please leave them in the comments and I will consider them. I don't like to go with anything cutesy or, you know, named after well, it's a western, so if you have names from other western series or referencing western movies or anything like that, that's okay. But I'm not going to name them after Pokemon or anything like that. <laughs> Doesn't make sense for a horse that is in a game that is set in 1899. We should be using names that make sense for the time period. But, uh, despite not coming up with uh, very good names for horses in this game, in this story mode playthrough, I think I have some pretty good ones for some of my horses. Uh, in my online mode. My favorite name for one of those horses is, uh, I have one named Conestoga Wildcat, after the Conestoga right, Wagons, and, uh, oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. there we go. So, we sold it. We're not going to buy anything right now. Yeah. But, uh, Conestoga Wagons actually come from Conestoga Valley and Conestoga River here in Pennsylvania. It's part of the eastern side of the state, named after, oh, it's Native American. Uh, Territory. It's over in what is now Lancaster County. So, in a way, you could say that uh, the Wild West started right here in Pennsylvania. And uh, it wasn't for the Conestoga Wagon. There wouldn't have been as much exploration as there has been, of, uh, that is an elk. But there wouldn't have been as much exploration as there has been of The Western territories, at least not as fast, both in the United States and in Canada. Damn it. Gonna track this boy. He's gonna give us some more meat. We need meat to kill. There he goes. Come on, go down. I know I can take an elk. 
<laughs> We're increasing our stamina, that's for sure. And he is wounded at this point. Come on, if I can kill a bear, I should be able to kill an elk. Where'd he go? There he is. What the? No wonder I can't bring him down. That's the varmint rifle. <laughs> There we go. Get <laughs> ourselves enough. Also a deer standing right here. Yeah, crap. I track you. And I lost the trail. Okay, boy. Did I bump that deer? Mm, it doesn't matter. We need to get our elk meat back to camp. Get on our <laughs> Gotta get provisions. Just hold on there, boy. Anything else? You want a problem? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> All right. Let's see if there's anything else worth taking here. There is a little. Hello. Can we please inspect the ammo box, Arthur? Turn around. One step forward. There we go. Today, good sir. Today. <laughs> we will slowly build up our low honor playthrough or reputation. rather not exactly ride the roads because we have a greater chance of coming across people who need help and uh, I don't want to necessarily encounter all of them all at once. I remember previous playthrough I had quite a few instances where I couldn't um, The fool. I don't know what you would call it. Um, is that one of William's camps? I think so. He would be the only one with a setup that big. Yeah, I think that's one of William's camps. Yeah, past the herbs. Oh, alright, fine. Just because the stuff that he crafts for us is useful. The name's William. Yeah, so am I going to get to greet him? Familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. Okay. 
I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. And you can distinguish yarrow. it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. Okay. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Okay. And now that we have it, we yeah. also now know how to craft it, which is good. Not sure why the game sort of stuttered there for a moment. It's another deer. Get up to it quick, Arthur, or you're gonna lose it before you can kill it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Another pelt and some more antlers for Pearson. Hoping the uh, volume is better on this playthrough. Because uh, I did adjust that before we started in the epilogue with the previous playthrough. Just have to get down from this cliff. Okay. And we'll head back to camp. We'll check that out next episode or in a few episodes. Don't have to do it right now. Let's see if the antelope. our output just not actually switch it just who goes there Arthur wondered when you'd roll back in you out of trouble there of course I am good I'm done with trouble for a while all right Morgan <laughs> it's looking everywhere but that bill Head into camp and drop off our donations. As all of our supplies are a little low. A little low. back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah. We need you, John. Whatever. Your problems. <laughs> Alright, so we are back at camp. 
all of it. All of our, uh, I'm down to the stock here now, is Mr. pretty low. Mm -hmm, I know. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Or a halt. Good gear. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. I'll donate some animal fat because we can get more of that. Same with the feathers. We're going to be a while before we can uh, deal with uh, crafting any arrows. What you want? One sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. You fight him. Only when I see you. All right, what do we have? Donate. Gold button ring. Silver emblem ring. Gold buckle. Two silver watches. Um, I'm going to keep a hold of that for now. I'll donate that one too. Okay. We don't have the ledger yet, so we cannot, uh... Greetings, my boy. Hey, Dutch. You good? Just can't seem to get a moment's peace. Well, I'm leave you to it. All right, then. <laughs> but we will uh, have to wait for the ledger in order to uh, contribute hey. Hello, to Arthur. medicine and ammo if you're bored, purchases. Always work to be done. I ain't bored. Just a suggestion. Yep. <laughs> All right. So we are going to call it quits for the episode for today, and uh, I'll probably take Crescent back to the stable and change his name in the interim, and maybe see about finding us another horse. Although, like I said, I don't want to do too much traveling, because we will be encountering strangers on the road that we will have to make choices regarding... Um, good or bad honor outcomes in how we deal with them but if you have enjoyed this episode please give it a like and uh cons oh, what's the matter jack come here jack marston look at me look at me in the eye you've been crying why? Why? Don't know. Listen to me. Don't waste your life worrying about people who don't care about you. Aww. You got me. You got the whole camp. So stop them tears. You hear? Yes. And you got Arthur here for you, too. Oh, hello, Arthur. Kids having a hard time? Yeah. Aw, Chuck. Oh, hi, Jack. Gonna do low honor, but we're still gonna take care of Jack. <laughs> Can we go talk to him? Will he let us? And you got me, too. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. So dry them tears. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yeah, sure. Alright. As I was saying before Jack started crying, unfortunately, <laughs> if you have enjoyed this episode, uh, please give it a like, consider subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.